Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Hey, Bukowski. Hey, pierogi. Speaking hug? of devil. How can we get on with this? Speaking of all. Oh. Holy fuck! I want you guys back so bad. Back, back together. Out of the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers think Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleep. Did he pills, make it too? In the no, tub, he's still in, in homicide. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, he's not going anywhere. Here, here. Never mind. Mal is one hundred percent that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. The Go fucking right Power Rangers united at last. <laughs> God damn. That's pretty cool. It's the shitbag crew. Phelps? You'll never Help. solve the crime with this shitbag. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we are dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. That's why they pay you the big bucks, man. Knock yourself out. I get paid very little, actually. I imagine Mr. coroners get paid a shitload. Yeah, no, I guess. High skill job with a low bad. number of applicants. Oh, on paper, I'm sure they must call that like sensitive details or like basically you got to be like less than human to really deal. Very unusual. Or you have a could be more, more than human like tolerance to, uh... Yeah, less than human's a bad way to put it. I yeah. guess, like, like you can turn it off, you know? You can turn your humanity off. Who is the game designer that worked as, like, an Undertaker, like, Undertaker's aid? Is, Undertaker? Um, it was is Undertaker. It? No, it was, uh, it was Suda51, actually. Oh, yeah? He worked with bodies? Yeah. Very good. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Surrettes. It would make my theory. The morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Surrettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Thanks for, yeah. like, giving me more help than Roy ever did. Signs of a struggle also wasn't a term people knew back then. No good to me. Really? I guess not. I mean, the not, cops knew it. Not in the but the average really Joe obvious did cases. not. Like if you break so, a window, yeah, it's and like you if smash you, it. You force, like, some, yeah, you force somebody to do something. Take it anymore. And the cops know immediately because you're kicking shit around. Hey, was your door kicked in? That's a bad sign. Yeah. I feel like it wasn't like a self-inflicted thing if someone kicked you in your own door. Sir, you say your wife was attacked by burglars who so fucked your house up. Life. How come none of your locks are broken and everything's perfectly in order and your wife got killed in the bed? They were bed? very polite burglars. Good weapon. With the rolling pen. Okay. Than me to connect that. Somehow film thing, yeah. Optimistic, Cole. Oh. Cole, you, you're just unbridled with your optimism. <gasps> the ladle! It was the ladle. I'd love it to zoom in. It's like, ladle brought at the ladle store. Whatever soup uh, factory that we investigated last time. Parnell's. Uh, this is going to help us. Back in the days before steam irons were a thing. Oh, is, is that a steam iron? I, I believe it, it is. It has a cord. It has so. a cord. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Just the old water. ass, like, non electric irons, man. God damn, that was brutal. Electricity's kind of good. Arrest this maid. Ooh. I like electricity a lot. I'm just saying. Very nice. Gives us somewhere to look. What do you got? A date? Nothing. No memories. Memory well, is not career. Nothing in that one. What about the other ones? Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. They are not. They're classy. Oh shit! That's embarrassing for everyone. The Sears catalog, aka the 40 Spank Bank. This is all. This is what I have to work with. That's all they had. Been a modeling assignment. Come on, big money, yeah. There it is. Asinine. That's it. It's place to start.
Okay. Did you solve the mystery? They Who solved keeps the a mystery? giant photo, like... Of themselves? Oh, man. Someone that was in show business, I'm assuming. Yeah. Headshots Should lighting your walls. we start doing that in our homes? I mean... No. Oh, no, you still had clues. Oh, you're just going out to poke Rusty? I see. Rusty needs a bugger. Just poke Rusty in his tummy. And a bugger. He likes it. Ah. Ah. You know what I would love to do for Rusty? Bug Open up a beer and then pour it out on the fucking floor. Yeah. <laughs> in a, into a drain. All right, I guess talking. No, wait, hold on. No, no, no. Talking, maybe? Groceries. No, that's no, just that's, the ladle, that's, Willie. That's, that's that suspicious fucking ladle. Is there a room you missed? There might be. I feel like there would be. Yeah, there's this only way. a bat. There's, there should be a bedroom. Yep, yep, yep. Way down here. The bedrooms where all the suspicions happen. I was doing nothing. I wasn't masturbating in her bedroom. Bye. Roy. Roy. Combing the scene for money. More likely. Yeah, just stuffing my hands inside the sofa pockets to see. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. Hmm. Ding. There's more drugs at the bottom of the bed for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's... yeah. Barbs. Barbs. Looks like barbiturates. I gotta admit, I'm not familiar with barbiturates. I also don't know. Oh! Barbiturates. Oof! <laughs> God the damn. fucking barbiturates. Wait, wait, you can further investigate. Yeah, yeah, oh, there's shit. more. There's like Maybe secret. Maybe a prescription? There's secrets on it. Move it all around. Oh. Uh, yeah. For a meal, Speaking 20 capsules. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Huh. Yep. Yeah! It's my favorite noise. Beat, you beat this dead woman's house. Wait. Like, there's this bit where uh, Joe Rogan's talking about, like, people on sleeping pills that are not asleep. Mm -hmm. you're, you're a zombie. It just turns you into a zombie. Like, he's like, there. there's a bunch of people in a, in a hotel that, uh... I'm Detective Phelps. ...had an alarm go off. I'm here to try and help mm -hmm. And you can just see all the people waking up with their sleeping pill, Virginia like, Reynolds coma said. going on. Yeah. And they so can barely shocked. walk down the stairs. I feel like there's something I should be it's doing. It's why Someone when you take sleeping pills, fall. you don't actually get very restful sleep. Calls, who needs to be it's better than absolutely it. nothing. I don't know. But if you have any ability to get this regular sleep, you should not take sleeping pills. Town. You got to do it the Michael Someone Jackson way. Get order. your milk. Okay. I have I, no I, idea what he's oh, talking about, and I'm really creeped I, I out. Yeah. Michael Jackson died from anesthesia. He called it milk, and he'd say, "Give me more milk," and that's the last thing he said when he said, "Give me more milk," and then he died because he had too much anesthetic in his bud. Did you say butt? Was Buddy. Yeah, he something. said butt, though. Upset. He said he got to, Michael no Jackson died because he had too much anesthetic in his butt? Okay, so here's what happened there. I meant to say body, and then I thought of blood, and yeah. then both oh, happened. Yeah, and, okay. you said, and you said blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate that problem. Was she depressed about anything? Uh, no, not at all. Well, what about the thousands of drugs she takes every second? That makes her very not depressed. Or oh, the photos of her what all over her wall. hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julie was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. Me. I have no idea. Overdose mm. suicide. That's a bullshit fucking thing already. Yeah. You rule that right out. Uh, I'd say the prescription. Just straight up. No. I no? think it's a doubt. Mm. Okay. You're off the hook. For now. For now. Matt was would big right again. For a man? Miss Julie would never have killed herself. She was a very determined young lady. One of those people who shake the tree for all it's worth. Sometimes you have to out. shake, yeah. Man, he drew an unflattering one of her. It's not the best. Jeez, okay. Cole. Signs of forced morphine overdose. Overdose suicide is a possibility, but is it? Okay. It is. Black ring. Two suspects. Modeling. Smoking jacket. Gotta get your smorks on. Uh, prescription and the pills themselves. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. 
Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. Why is everyone trying to fight you? Like, we ran into, like, two people... Because fuck the police, man! ...in this man. entire game. Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. She's dead! Telling tales, what does it matter? He's very much in love with her. Well, well if we someone is... I'm sorry. Speaking of the dead, right? I don't know. Well, I was gonna say, if she likes the woman, she doesn't want to get her further in trouble. <laughs> all right. Well, how would besmirch trouble? her name and all that? What hey, when like? I'm dead, or start besmirching my name Perfectly immediately, fine, officer. as fast as you can. Don't worry. Proper videotapes have been sent to the proper lawyers and will be released at the appropriate time. My death. <laughs> Well, that's fine, man, that's I guess. Fine. I mean, yeah, you I seem to put a lot of thought into it, even. Yeah, it's my Julie's death. I mean, I, what am me. I going to do? Complain? Yeah, exactly. And how do you come to that conclusion, young man? What makes you think I know anything about her? The past? fact that you're defending her, like, at every turn, maybe. <laughs> you are being very what? fast, young man. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Well, that was a Thanks, disaster. My train of thought was wrong. Very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement, and then you can go home. I assume the prescription would like be like, "Hey, look, she was crazy." Well, that doesn't the point. if she didn't know about the prescription, then she, I mean, she didn't know. Oh man, they carted her out quick. She, she disappeared. All right, so the maid wasn't much the help floor. anyway. Hey, gang. Come on, Rusty. We'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? Goodbye, gang. I bet if you, you went back to them, they'd be talking shit about right? you. He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a gal away. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. Yeah, I bet you have, Roy. I bet you would have thought that, been with Rusty. Yes. Why the fuck was the investigation music playing in the middle of that hallway? I can't really I think decide. it was just, like, regular music. It just sounded like the investigation music. That is the Steal shittiest... That, car. that may be the shittiest pothole job I've ever seen in my life. Did you win that medal, Wooly? You can drive. Solving all the cases? All oh, right. the to? cases. Julia Randall. Wait, that's where you're at right now. So that just it's just another one of those um Oh, well, he's going somewhere. Didn't get scratched out uh, things. Maybe. He's driving unless, somewhere unless you actually Boy, like a missed it. In there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to lose your hands. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. I, I Roy's a little on point here, actually. Yeah. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. I think this not conversation is going to play out. We're not going to wind up going anywhere. Yep. Up his lunch. That's oh, correct. You're going to teleport right to where you're at. By the way, he said that you guys were going to look around outside. So that is why the investigation music played. And the flag didn't go away. Yeah. Good, good point, good point, good point. You need to discover clues. Remember, uh... Yeah, uh, yeah, the, for the other gentleman. Well, no, but the, the fucking... Uh, the more guy was like, look for more shit outside. Yeah, so this is where you were at. Take the trip downstairs, and that hallway, as soon as the investigation music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen to that shit. Kicks in hard. Kicks in strong. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't me. think there's much else where. Yeah, maybe, oh, yeah. shit. Ew. Morphine. Threats. Mal will be pleased. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. The autopsy will confirm it one way or another. He's like, hmm. damn it, yes, you're right, the autopsy. I think our work is done here. That was it. You've got many achievements for it. To just toss it out like that, like... Nah, it's... It's cataloged inside the baggie inside Cole Phelps' head. You know? 
They'll remember it, I'm sure. All right. Let's build up our car inventory. Car inventory? But that's your car. Yeah, I'm looking for another one. Okay, well, there's one, one there? right there. Another one. Another one. Get that car. And I even locks on these. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Circled. Fine. Uh, Where are we weird. It'd be really good if if you're with the other cops and the other desks, and if you'd stole a car, they'd be like, What are you doing, Phelps? But if you're with Roy, you steal it, and Roy would be like, okay, Yeah! Good eye, Cole. Good eye. I like that quite sharp there, Cole. We're gonna impound this fucking thing. When we're done with it. I'm gonna puke in the glove compartment. Oh, man. The guys at the traffic desk are gonna freak. That scene. That's a pretty store, actually. The nerve of some people. The nerve well, of that hello. big cop what in the newspapers. You are you talking to me with your back turned? Yeah, yeah that's what high-powered business the people do. The papers. Or maybe they're... I don't know. This place seems crazy. Yeah, Unless like there was a second person. Oh, there's someone I don't right trust at, it. Right at a desk the, the entire second time. Person. Hey, I hope I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? You can say that. A little bit. Manner of speaking. She was found dead this morning. Oh, I guess I... Rot row! Whoa! Look at that stone face. I'm like, judge the reaction, Cole. How long had Julie worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Ain't no reason to doubt that. That seems pretty honest. I actually have nothing against this. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. I get it. The wives weren't happy and neither was I. So she was too beautiful, is what you're saying. Does she saying. have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? No, no I'm good. Like don't much. want to. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is she? She's a little, little. Razor, isn't she? That was a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. Yeah, that's what he just said. It's a lovely She's engagement. not as full like of, of life right now as she used to be, unfortunately. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? Uh, okay. Uh, 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 Nice. That's no, some pearl, Miss Swanson. My zoom in pla what star platinum fortune. vision is you helping really me see you. every detail. Yeah. I wish I said lie on that last question because she's like, oh, she's very beautiful. And you're like, you're lying. She Tell was. Tell me why you're ugly. lying. She was an uggo and you know, you know it. it. Sorry. Sometimes you gotta shake the tree. How did you meet <laughs> What? Julia? Why? I was introduced she to wears the fiance, faces of her victims. What tree? Man, she looks really familiar. She could be an actress. Introduced through Henry. That seems reasonable, yeah. And she's not freaking out. Henry is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Cole's Henry being unusually nice. Business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Okay, that seems pretty good. Maybe this is one of those witnesses that's Randall like, everything Mr. is Henderson awesome. Engaged? Who's he? Me. Randall, she engaged to Miss Henderson, and she's like... And she's a fucking poker face. Look at that poker face. And my poker face. Mur, 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 mur. Julia was kept by this Henderson character. The apartment, the clothes, the jewelry. Was she a call girl? How would I know? What evidence is there that says that Julia is a prostitute? I... Mm. Is there anything None. definitively? Don't ask. You never find out. Never find out if people yeah, are prostitutes. And now she's not. upset. See? I upset her, yeah. She was wearing oh. a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. 
Damn yeah. it, Willie, you missed your opportunity response. to scream and choke her. Your fiance to visit Hollywood police station? For answers. It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Oh, right. Oh, snap. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. And That's morphine. How rehearsed. Oscar winning. What a sudden cut. Yeah, that uh, was kind of weird. Usually, at a moment like that, Roy would go, Yeah, cry me a river, let's go cold. <laughs> yeah, basically. All right, where to? Do you have any drugs I can steal? Or money. How about women? I can use I could money to Donald buy Street drugs or there. more There's women. Darkies I can call out? out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. Not sure if I want to be, Roy. Not sure if I want to be. Hold back. Wouldn't it be nice if Roy was the only just, like, fucking dirty-ass, super corrupt cop, and all the other vice cops were like, Can't believe he got paired with Roy! Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, basically. Man, Crooked Roy, huh? Why do they call him Crooked Roy? Oh, because of his teeth. Or his back is all bent out of shape. Absolutely fireproof. Skyscraper-sized tobacco ad. Children come shit. running out on flames. Nine out of ten doctors' children smoke Lucky Strike. That's awesome. What smokes are you? That like what bar are you? Yeah. With smokes? Yeah, what smokes are you? You're you're Chesterfields. Marble red. What? The fuck? That was the biggest waste of time. You got tricked. Not including in space. I see the Minecraft LP in there. Right there. I've seen it. Elevator? Maybe. Is that a gold button? It is. It is. As Cole slides Slidey place. press. Hurry, get inside before Roy can come in. Damn it. I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. <laughs> I have no response to that, Roy. None at all. And what's that, uh, what's that cigarette brand that, like, all supposedly black people smoke? Menthols? That's the one. Here, Stoneman. Missed Office opportunity to, to drop it's that one. It's not so much a, a... a brand as it is a type. Yeah. Hmm. Why do black people love menthols so much? I don't know. I think the 40s is yes, our best should ask a black out. person. LAPD. Well, do you know like any black Dr. people Stoneman. we can ask? <laughs> Dr. Stoneman is like a patient. I hope like we wait? get there. No, we wouldn't. Go fuck yourself. How about <laughs> that? Well, you have to admit There's that no was super you good. You started this Stoneman, with apparently that's the Gentleman cigarettes that black people LAPD like or whatever. You. you started it there. We just brought it back around. I also don't know a lot of smokers. Yeah. yeah. It's not very popular nowadays. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. Whoa! Push this man! Push this man to death! How about you fuck off, huh? How about that? Oh, oh are you trying to walk over here? Tune him up. Trying to walk Can over there? Can you walk away from the clan of Kimari? Mm -hmm. Tune him up. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker. How about that? How about you sniff my Too coat? Bad. That's all you can do, all right. unfortunately. Pull out your gun! You cannot yet. Gun button doesn't work. Shoot Dr. that Stoneman, doctor! We are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, detective. You sound nervous as shit. Guess what every question will, will go How against. How well did you know Ms. Randall? Barely at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. What is your name? That conflicts with my doctor-client privilege. All right, I bet the prescriptions <laughs> get immediately. Yeah, all check that. the prescription. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Veracity. Do you have access to my patient records? No, but if we're investigating someone's <laughs> fucking death, maybe <laughs> we toss <laughs> their apartment. <laughs> July forty-six. Your prescriptions contradict you, doctor. Oh shit. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. Now explain why you lied. I, I, I told exactly. her to Exactly, you can arrest up. him now. 
No. For obstruction of justice. Life was too short for her. And you supplied the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. What about You're getting the them hopped up? Things. You're getting them hopped up on I fucking meth. On goofballs. Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Me. <laughs> oh. I'm like, look at him though, right? Maybe. He's very muted. Maybe it's just the eyes and the the eyebrows occasionally. Interesting. Mm. We believe Miss Randall died of an overdose of morphine. You didn't prescribe her anything else, did you? That is a that's very completely wrong. Train of thought, Cole. To level at a doctor, young man. That's, that's yeah, that's, yeah. That's total nonsense. It's nothing personal. <laughs> I'm just doing my job. You understand? Do we that? know where that. No, I don't understand that. Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm upset. super annoyed oh, God at this mega cop from the newspapers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The original question was: uh, You wrote her a prescription. Wanted to control her weight. Yeah, let's doubt that. Doubt that shit. Yeah. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. Don't yell at me, I Mecca Decca. But she was determined. <laughs> she said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. Well, thank you for your help. Simon. We'll be in touch. I feel like you could have... Use his phone! ...yelled at him more. What size is your coat? Operator, message for KGPL. Can I have the phone book for Hokkaido, Japan, please? Sure. I May I use your phone? Is it a local call? Yes, it is. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Why are you yelling into that? You're in a completely quiet room. Well, I'm using a That's doctor's phone please. so that a man with sciatica yes, can <laughs> have his time can, wasted. Can rest in pain. Can call if you like. Please, thank you. Hey, Carruthers has got news for you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. I love that one episode of the X Files where they tell the story in different ways, and Scully's eating like sixteen boxes of cheese pizza while she's like emptying out a guy's stomach. It's fucking the best. <laughs> <laughs> How you oh, like yeah, that? So oh, hello, motherfucker. Oh, I bet you don't like the pain I'm causing you. Just letting you know. In your ass part. Just letting you know. Oh man. <laughs> That was so intense. This is the most intense thing I've seen in like a day. <laughs> it's like, sir? Yes, can I help you? I'm very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> like, this mega cop is staring into my soul. I wish I would have said a line to Roy while I was staring at that guy. It's just yeah, like, yeah. all right, Roy. Let's be you ready to roll out, Roy? <laughs> you know, it's weird because my time was wasted. When my time was wasted, I, st I start to lose focus. The old boy is lying. Oh. About what? I don't know. Thanks, Roy. You nope. looked relieved when you said she was dead. Hmm. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. That actually helps a bit. Actually, never mind. Thank you, Roy. Thank you for your keen investigative insight. Oh boy, now it's the fun part. Time to choose another car. Are uh, they going to say... Try to carefully cross the road and avoid getting hit by a car seen out of out of camera shot. Is that a fucking hearse? It's, no, it's close. Oh, that that is the roomiest back seat I've it's ever. It's really owned. roomy. Oh my Cadillac God. Series seventy five limousine. Limousine, yeah. Would have loved if you had gotten the call from you know, Carruthers, and it was like, I got some weird shit over here, Phelps. I got some to hide. There are certain things people have she had right moths in her mouth. Moths! Cole. Oh. Yeah. And it's only private when it suits a, a couple of drinks, and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. Are you driving? No. I never mind, I can talk. He, he is. <laughs> what? No, this is the computer. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's weird it didn't fade That's out like, this time. Yeah, though, it's wait this compete there's a bug. Yeah, no, it's waiting. It's Has waiting it for another uh, conversation. Oh, sorry. guys, look, we found another bug. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's like when we're playing Final Slam 2 and you revealed to the world that you were playing the AI the entire time. Oh, man. What a crazy bug. Oh, that's crazy. They should patch this, oh, man. Oh, it missed so the turn. What a horrible bug. <laughs> was, that, was, that, was that the turn? I thought it was here. I don't know. Ask the AI. 
Why would you think it was there? That's crazy. This guy's gone crazy. He's getting a little nuts, though. He's been playing this game too long. Fuck you. <laughs> you hit the you hit the lie button on me, and I panicked. You gotta keep that lie button held down, man. Morgue. Head to the morgue. Well, oh, first things first. Detectives Phelps and Earl here to see the coroner. Yes, detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. <laughs> 